I'm standing here with Chase Jones, who's the design director for Disney Interactive Games, Epic Mickey 2 in particular, I understand. So, Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, is actually a two-player game. So what sort of gameplay modifications have you guys made to allow this? And you know how are players actually going to be working together now? We've made a ton of gameplay modifications, especially to support uh, the co-op experience with Oswald coming into the game. But we also gave Oswald his own set of powers. So this isn't like, you know, oh, he's just going to paint and thin just like Mickey. He can take out mechanical enemies a lot quicker, more efficiently than, than Mickey can. He's got his glide, which Mickey can attach to his feet. They can get long distances. They'll also have banter with the full voice that we're going into. Um, that will give you hints along the way. There's still a little bit of a push and pull with them as far as character goes, but really they're there to work together and solve the mysteries that are going on. So what's the real opposing force against Mickey and Oswald in this game? Um, that's something that we're not revealing yet. You know what I mean? You give me like a little exclusive, just one hint, what's going on? Um, there are a lot of natural disasters that have, that have occurred in okay. Wasteland. New enemies have emerged, uh, something that we call the Blotworks. Somehow the Spatters have figured out how to get inside these Beetleworks and, and control them. Is there anything else outside of you know Disney Interactive that you're really excited about here? Oh, I'm, I'm excited about a, a ton of games. I've just been walking around like a kid in a candy store throughout E3. Awesome. All right, well, thank you so much. And stay tuned to E3 Insider.